but have you ever been treated for any mental health issues? Why is that first? This woman right here is facing charges of felony battery and resisting arrest with violence. And in case you don't know, felony battery means an intentional and unconsented touching that causes great bodily harm, permanent disability, or permanent disfigurement to another person. Yes, that's what this woman did. And today, she faces the Honorable Judge Mindy Glazer. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> As you go, yourself. But this woman appears to have no interest in being in court as she is using profanity and refusing to answer the questions asked. The judge has the power here to hold her in contempt of court after warning her. Okay, well, I'm a little busy right now. Ma'am, ma'am, I'm just trying uh, to help ma'am, you. Ma'am, he, he's trying to help you. And please don't use profanity or trying to disrupt my courtroom because I don't want to be forced to hold you in contempt of court. <clears throat> or he's trying to, Mr. Sun is trying to help you. And I'm ordering that you stay away from Cynthia Cuba. Do not have any contact with her. And you must stay away from her home and place of business. As to the other case, who is this Cynthia Cuba? Tell me. She just used profanity again, even after the judge had warned her. Therefore, the judge has every right to hold her in contempt of court immediately. But see what she does. Um, I thought you allegedly to try to hit with the pliers. She calmly provides the information the defendant asks for, even when the defendant still used profanity. The other case, F And now, the defendant is insulting the judge and using profanity against her. Yet the judge ignores her and announces the sentence. It's five thousand dollars. And count three is one thousand dollars. Have a nice day, ma'am. We'll try and get you into the hospital. I won't use the word professional in this scenario, as the judge's actions may cause people to think they can act and speak however they want in court and get away with it. However, the judge is of course the most merciful and understanding as well as the nicest.